Ladies and gentle thems, spirit children of all ages, welcome to a special episode of Zelf on the Show. Please welcome to the set, Sam and Tanner. You are not the ordinary, the spirit's ordinary. You did that in the beginning of the John Dolan verse. Really? Yeah, that was Aww. the exact intro. <laughs> That's the one that just always comes to mind. Well, people love familiarity, so... Yeah, it takes one to eight references of mm-hmm. Saturday's Warrior for really to <clears throat> crystallize in the brain. How is everybody doing today? Got crystals on the brain? I dressed cozy today because I'm like, we're watching a two-hour movie. <laughs> yeah, I got a blanket, a Sprite, <coughs> Lemon Lime Zero, ready to roll. Still using the same pack of straws I've had for years. I only ever use them when filming a video because I've lipstick on. <laughs> in case anyone thinks I'm buying single-use plastic, I am, but not this kind. Fuck the sea turtles. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. <sighs> Watching Saturday's Warrior. You guys have been requesting this for ages, like genuinely. Sometimes we say people have been requesting stuff, but we're lying a little bit. But this is a real... <laughs> this one really has been highly requested. If you appreciate what we're doing here, you can support the channel by joining us on Patreon, where we read 80s Mormon fiction every week, and it is so fun. Or you can uh, like send us a little tip via Venmo or Patreon. Pal. Let's do this. Saturday's Warrior. Okay, wait. First, oh, and I've never seen it. <laughs> I I have not seen all of it. So I grew up hearing the soundtrack. We'd like listen to it on the way to church and it was like kind of fun. So, you know, an improvement. Oh, but you haven't just, even like, seen choral the full singing. Movie. And then one time at like a friend gathering at in college, I saw a bit of it and I was like, whoa, this looks like the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, yeah. One hour and 55 minutes is quite long. We may have to fast forward. <clears throat> yeah. We may have to skip entire chunks. Yeah. <laughs> We're not ruling anything out, okay? There's no <laughs> rules here. We may have to do it in 12 parts. <clears throat> uh-huh. All right. Are we starting out in like Star Wars? <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy far away, a man named Elohim dwelt with a million wives. Hearts softened, priorities reoriented, children welcomed. This really looks like the beginning of a of a cult film. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love when a college play goes mainstream. <laughs> oh yeah, you nailed it, Lex. Da Zavedo. Hell yeah, Bob Williams. Can we skip the credits? Oh, we got the first number. Who's Bob Williams? I don't know. <laughs> I love how he his, made this. <laughs> his name is like Bob Bill. Wait, no, that's William. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Bill. Bob yeah. Bill. <laughs> Bob Williams. Bob Williams. <laughs> well, so far the montage is inspiring. We have to learn the choreography. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> the intro is still going. We still have credits. <clears throat> okay, where do kids come from? No one knows. So many kids. Is that breastfeeding? Oh, no. No, that's Axel Rose. <laughs> <Is> that <up>? ACDC. <laughs> or no, uh, uh, Guns N' Roses. Oh my god. She thinks she can outdance us. She, she can. <laughs> she is. We could do that though. That's how I look in my head though when I do my kitchen dancing. Her, her, out of can we? <laughs> okay, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> I got socks on, so <laughs> they're coming off. <laughs> oh, are these children come down, coming down so like gentle waffles in a stream. <laughs> What century is this? <laughs> he looks like a page boy. I wonder what's taking them so long. I like the teal. Of course I can't blame you for being excited. All the new experiences a physical body will bring. Seems like you guys have them. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're tricking you. There's nothing you can't do in these ones. They're just gonna try and make you forget in the next life. Yeah. I mean, they didn't even make him like transparent or anything. No, I mean, you know, it's a stage production. Right? Also, it's just weird the concept of like you in your fertility prime, essentially. You at your like young, hot adult self is like the age you are in, in eternity before and after this life. But then you go down. I just think that's interesting. So fun. So fun. <laughs> oh, you'll 
will be extremely good looking, and they'll flock around you by the dozens. Oh, Julie, I can hardly wait. Sorry, but if the love of my life was like, oh, you're going to be so good looking, all the girls are going to want you, and, and they were like, I can hardly wait, <laughs> I'd be fuming. Our father is a polygamist, and so shall I be. All who inherit the eternal realms of our father must be polygamists. It's just funny that they wouldn't know what they look like while they're sitting there in their bodies. I, yeah. We don't. This doesn't have to turn into. We're just watching. We're having a good time. We're we don't have to watching. make any doctrinal theological we're points, not, right? We're not. Hey, somebody out there! I'm coming. He's already an amazing character. Every, <laughs> every delivery of every line he's given has been like better than we could have dreamed. How come he wasn't cast in the Temple movie? Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I love that the spirit realm in the 80s followed the 80s hairstyles. That's really Very cool. encouraging. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's the matter? <laughs> You're being an asshole. Even, uh, getting down to those physical bodies. Oh, girls, and don't try to hide Slut. it. You can hardly wait. <laughs> Are we to believe that he doesn't, like, if you don't have a body, you don't have, like, a sex drive or hormones or anything, so why would he be, like, so obsessed with girls? Mm -hmm. Unless everything is already there and they're lying to you. What is a spirit? Also, what, oh, what even is a I spirit? What, what can you identify in your body that's not a bodily function? Your mind? Yeah, bodily function. Love, bodily function. What's this guy's name? Who? Julie and... Um, Mullet Mike? He looks like a Mark or something. Mm, mullet Mark. <laughs> anyway, sounds like he's an F-boy is what we should be getting oh, yeah. from this. Oh, yeah. Big time. Look at that face. That you face know. was made to Nick Mo. Unless <laughs> he's humbled in his, in his next life. Uh, yeah, could happen. Anything can happen Anything in the wild happen. game of life. The wild, wild west of the life. <laughs> what good are promises in a world where everything will be forgotten? Even if by some miracle we do meet. What chance is there that you could possibly ever recognize me? I'm gonna get over this real quick because we're only six minutes in, but it's like presentism, but it's like putting like Homo sapiens Earth life on. I just can't imagine the primordial realm being like this. Them <laughs> having, these feel like very egoic human concerns. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, hasn't all this been explained to you? Like, you didn't. Seems like you didn't go with Satan, so you're on board with the. But I don't know. It's just all feeling a bit. Like I this. Mean, this would have largely informed so many people's perspective of the pre-Earth life growing up. Because even if it's silly, it's like if you grow up watching a movie like this. That forms the basis of your... I was made to listen to this and it's on Sunday going to church. They're already obsessed with sex and they don't even have bodies yet. Yeah, That's right. That's classic like... Mormonism. <laughs> you haven't even been legally, lawfully in temple married yet. You can't be talking about such matters. Mark. You think that we're just going to forget all of that? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I don't know what Julie, I mean. I love you. Hasn't someone told... If I the whole world over, I'll find you. And as for not recognizing each other, why, that's like saying that the sun and the moon and the stars will never recognize their glory. The stars and sun will never recognize their glory. They ain't sentient. No. Oh. <laughs> what is sentience? We wouldn't have sentience without the sun, so I guess I am the part of the sun that is aware that the sun is glorious. Yes. I've seen that sun A song. somewhere before. This sounds like Jared. It seems we've talked like this before. The circle of our love is more just a rising sunset. The circle of our love, it goes forever. This guy's gonna fuck in the pre mortal realm. You are siblings! They shouldn't be able to touch. It yeah, should be like that, ghosts. Yes. That Richard, you're on final approach. Why is she older? <laughs> is she already done her thing? I, Why is she older? There's just maybe a really slow progression of the age of spirits. Who, yeah, I mean. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Maybe that old lady just fucks with being old. She's like, I'm in, this is my prime of my mm -hmm. life. Like, I just living out my cookie self. I'm uh -huh. taking notes. I'm leading people to Siberia. I'm just having a good time. This is what Touch I dig. It. No one getting up in my face. No one trying to move in with me, marry me. I can just pursue my hobbies and hang out with my friends. I just think they should have. Take little wine trips to, this, to Spain. <laughs> she wouldn't dare <laughs> jeopardize it all for that. I just think they should look slightly different from humans. Just <laughs> something, just anything to In like anyway, distinguish. Yeah. Maybe some veils. Mm, mm -hmm. You missed this slot, the next one's in Siberia. And that would suck you want ass. Siberia. You want to get in America, it's the best. Trust me. And I'll be waiting, Todd. I promise. Todd. Wouldn't you have like your temple name? Why is he called Todd? Like who named him Todd? <laughs> he's gonna get like, obviously get a different name by the parents. God Todd. 
God, Todd. They're all Todd. <laughs> it's all Todd and Julie before. We all start out as Todd or Julie. Not clear where, if you have a spiritual name and a temple name. And an earth name. And an earth name. And a celestial name, maybe. Mm-hmm. I think you should just change your name as much as you want, I guess, yeah. is the takeaway of this movie, which I'm... No fixed identity. Isn't the spirit world supposed to be on this world? I always imagined it just like this, to be honest. Just kind of floaty and spacey. Hyperspace. Whoa! Todd! Todd got beamed to mortal life. You guys! Better just walk through you. this fog. What are children doing in, as pre-mortal realm spirits? But additionally, no, Todd's not down there. T- Todd is a fertilized egg right now because that's <laughs> when the soul goes into the body. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. He's not a tiny baby with his little lamb. Just arriving in all her birthday glory, the incomparable Pam Flanders! Yeah, yeah. Close behind that pre existing Marvel, Jimmy Flinders. Oh, Jimmy's gonna be a problem. Jimmy Fox. Just wanna observe that this is called Saturday's Warrior, the premise being that this is the generation that's come on the last day of the week. Oh. Right before the turn of the millennium for the Savior to come. How's that just every generation of the church has felt that they were that generation? Because <laughs> that's how we felt, right? Well, that's, that's what's funny. It's like, how do these people feel now when they were like, we're Saturday's Warriors? And then now it's like Sunday and they're like, ah. Uh... That was such a play. Before coming to this cold, hard world, what was it you most feared about? Earth life. Banging too many chicks. <laughs> Being too cool. <laughs> Riding too many motorcycles. The one that really had me scared is that I would have uh, such animal magnetism. Oh, brother. Such charisma that no one would notice my sweet spirit. Mormons are so obsessed with sex. So fucking obsessed that they literally think the biggest thing about being a human is sex. And like, because it's like the most sinful thing, but then also the thing you're like allowed at some point to, it's like, they're obsessed. Well, it's weird. It is, it is such an integral part of being human, but like the way that they exaggerate it mm-hmm. and demonize it so that the shadow of it gets so projected yeah. and distorted. Like your biggest fear, you basically, his biggest fear of coming to earth is sex because it's like, that is for Mormons, like the biggest challenge. Your dad Elohim is a colossal slut, biggest one in the Delta <laughs> Quadrant. He's got like a million polygamous wives. How do you think you had all those kids? You can't birth yeah. those out in one woman. Are you kidding? That would kill her, like you said. <laughs> Mormons literally do feel like the most, the thing that, that, because the thing that like drives the whole engine is shame around sex, let's be real, in Mormonism. Yes, yes, There's yes, other yes. facets of shame and things, but it's like, that's really the main one. So it's telling that uh, this is a, a, again, all of these spirit, spirits seem like they're sexual already. Like, you haven't had bodies, isn't the whole point? I'm surprised they're not in ties, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Which feels like that. Collar. Well, of course, we being a girl. You. My number one fear is that I would have nothing but a sweet spirit. Wait, that was like so sad. She was like, um, because I'm a girl, I'm worried basically that if I'm not hot, all I'll be is a sweet spirit. Because like, as a woman, you wouldn't be like uh, building up the other parts of your person, you know, like creativity or work, or you. All you do is be a wife and mother. That's so sad. She already knows in the premortal realm. It's just so sad that they just openly said that. Like, the sexism was just so... Should we back it up, Jamie? Can we back it up? Thank you. Well, of course, being a girl. My number one fear is that I would have nothing but a sweet spirit. Of course, oh, being a girl. girl. With you, of course, girl. being a girl. Like, <laughs> this li- the line was literally written by a man. That is <laughs> And the so... line was written by a man. <laughs> of course, being a girl, the worst thing for a woman would be to not be hot. Because then I've got nothing going for me, except this religious ideology, which tells me that I'm nothing and if I'm not hot. <laughs> What's wrong with her? I think she's just sad, because she's the last one. And she's worried that by the time it's her turn, Mom and Dad might be out of gas. Not want her? You don't really believe that, do you, Emily? This is all just the worst musical theater propaganda Mm. for (laughs) the child industrial complex. (laughs) Big Baby wants you to just start to make you feel like you have a dutiful obligation to spirits who already exist, who are tiny infant babies right now, who need you to keep having kids even if you're out of gas. And then it's like, presumably the parents are 
children in a family, right? Like, if their family mm-hmm. is this little unit, what about where are their kids mm-hmm. and their kids? Mm-hmm. That was the one that always messed me up. I was like, wait, we're not going to all be living together. Like, that doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. We can't just be a little family again. Like, mm-hmm. impossible. Because you, you got your own little families and your parents have their own little... Everyone's got their own little family. And, and wanting to live... Just, it's just, like, not mentally. I just don't think... No, that's not true because there's different cultures around the world. I was just going to say, I don't know. I wouldn't want to live with my parents is all I'm saying. I just think it's kind of weird for adults to have a deep desire to live with their parents. But that's maybe that's just cultural and just not my thing based on my situation. Well, yeah, and it ultimately would break down to either being a partnership or you'd be single. And in, But then it's like the threat of like the, if you mess up this earth life, you're going to live in a place that is so good, you would kill yourself to get there. But listen, I can only visit you. And it's like, what, you mean like now? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't sound that bad. We've got our father and mother, sister and brother, pulling together, we can work it out. I should have realized what a perfect fit this video was going to be for you. This is you. This is you. Yeah, you can see where I kept my roots are in this for sure. <laughs> yeah, but imagine if you were like back, like Adam and Eve's family, yeah, and you were like doing this little dance before you go down, you'd all be like, it's going to be awkward. <laughs> I do if the kids make fun, because I'm kind of dumb. What do I do? What'll I do if they offer me a blunt? And I try to stunt. What'll I do? Take a hit and get real lit. <laughs> but when you've had too much and you're feeling quite sick. <laughs> Help! I'm probably the naughty Tommy or whatever. <laughs> What's naughty Tommy's name? <laughs> Can we talk about the fog machine budget? <laughs> it's Out like, of this world. That's, they spent all their money for this production on the fog. <laughs> like state of was like more else fog. <laughs> there was even a moment where like one of the girls like bumped into the younger sister and I was like, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think that just happened and they rolled with it. <laughs> because I'm like, there's no way that was choreographed that seamlessly. No, no, no. What do I do if I'm scared of it? The Von Traps could never. <laughs> this little girl has got star quality. <laughs> Maybe this is like going too far, but like just thinking about family systems theory and like everyone generally inheriting like trauma from their families of origin because you, you get by the dynamics of the family as a whole, you get like pushed into certain roles that you then it's generally healthy to like kind of separate yourself from somewhat as an adult for most of us. I just feel like this is kind of like really solidifying that. So kids watching it really, it's like, it really is like turning the family into a cult. Oh, totally. Like this is like such a weird level of like closeness with your family. And like all of you guys will be adults as well. Like, but you were being yeah, so with weird. With your own little families. Yeah. With their own little children doing their own little dances in the fog. Can we get more fog in here? <laughs> Can we get more fog? I do not rehearse without fog. My ankles will not be seen. That's in my contract. Lex Diedevedo signed that. Yeah, that it's just it's so bits. good. <laughs> if we lift and pull together, we can help each other climb. Thank God that's over. I wasn't having fun. <laughs> What'll you do if there comes a day when I lose my way? What would you do? implication that the older brother might go astray he's a fence sitter he heard lucifer out and was like he's you already know, planning his he's got he is. he's, he's like, like i'm gonna ah. have fun too yes i'm gonna let myself have some fun yeah it's like they're going to a theme park and he's like actually i know you guys are kind of shitting on some of the rides <laughs> but riding do look fun though <laughs> The samurai seven more times and then God i created it how bad could it be <laughs> immediately again if you're a kid watching this a lot of kids are going to resonate with like being like the younger kid having a brother that goes astray and it's really brainwashing you to be like you have an even bigger duty to stay if you're if your brother leaves yeah if it would help no, i'd, I'd even, even die, die for you to oh emily oh emily <laughs> all right yeah we know the chorus oh uh oh, we got some crazy. urban wisdom coming to you hot. <laughs> they are not in sync. Neither am I, we're all good. <laughs> oh, they were preordained to be mission companions. Oh. Everything was planned beforehand. That's why when you feel synchronicities, you're like, we saw this before, we agreed to all this before. <laughs> Truth, freedom, salvation. <laughs> See the headlines now, brother? Two humble missionaries convert thousands. 
Cities translated overnight. I love how <laughs> Mormonism, even within its like Mormon made media, well, I don't know, they don't try and hide like the arrogance. <laughs> They're like, a oh. couple of humble missionaries who baptize Sal. It's just kind of like a, that's just how missionaries are. Uh, but it's like, isn't that really disturbing? Should we be questioning that? I think this is like a soft <clears throat> way of maybe satirizing it. Yeah. While also amplifying it. Yeah. Because um, I definitely the, felt like this guy going in the MTC. I'm like, we're going to convert the whole world and it's going to be great. And this is why I don't have sex because we're going to just do all these miracles. And then like cut to me a month later and I'm like, I want to get hit by a bunch of here. <laughs> But in Mormon culture, it's kind of, it's seen as like, it's acceptable because it's like, but our thing is true. But it's like, there's there's no cultural awareness of like, anytime anyone is displaying that kind of superiority complex, it's we should maybe look at it. To yeah. the of us. We should just accept it as just something that's cool and fine. Paul Green, we're destined to be the greatest human missionaries the world has ever known. Whatever you say, Kessler. Are you with me? Whatever you say, Kessler. <laughs> <laughs> Dom sub dynamics. Did you forget his second line, or was that just yeah? Am I projecting? No, (laughs) that was the look in his eyes when he had him. But he was just like, yes, Alter. That was fully an overtone. (laughs) I'm the senior companion. You're the junior companion. Yes, Alter. I did goof up once. Sent the wrong babies to the wrong mothers. Luckily, the nurse in the hospital switched them back. <laughs> Sometimes it's fine to switch the babies at the hospital. <laughs> yeah, how do they determine Pro-changeling that? Pro-changeling propaganda. <laughs> um, who was it? Spencer W. Kimball just wakes up and is like, I gotta go to the hospital. <laughs> and he's, oh, he's probably already in there due to the heart complications. He's like, I'm, they find him just switching a baby out. <laughs> like, no, God yeah. told me. Jimmy Flinders. Jimmy Flinders and Pam Flinders, Flinders, the twins. I'm gonna miss this beautiful place. All the fog. I mean, after all, Earth life is only a few short years years but when you leave home it's always this way how would you know yeah how would you know let's have a secret thing we do just an experiment a what let's just have some secret thing we do together that we know we started here how are they going to remember it how otherwise everyone would just do that that's it this is perfect (laughs) Jimmy, you're not sorry having your hand on your twin brother's thigh is the perfect way to let each other know. I am telling you, there are so many repressed undertones yeah, to this musical. Yeah, what the fuck musical. is going on? For a moment, I was like, did I, am I wrong in thinking that? But they are the twins, right? They're the they, twins, they, they and they're just, their thing is to just put their hands on each other's thighs. Ma- yeah, well, th- let's watch that again. That's it, this is perfect. What? <laughs> she's <laughs> laughing like she's flirting with her twin brother. She's just advocating for twins being allowed to be fucking mean <laughs> <with> each other. <laughs> I felt that hand somewhere before. (laughs) If I saw my aunt and my dad just with their hands on each other, I'd be like, what's going on? Sorry, we've done this since the pre-existence. I'd be like, did someone just die? Like, (laughs) Will you do it? Sure, I love ya. This is kind of scary. What? They could have come up with any other symbol. Why would they have the twins do the thigh Your your religion is famous for its secret handshakes. Do a little secret handshake. Do anything. (laughs) What? Lex, think about it for two seconds. There's starting to be enough kind of like sexual things that I'm like, this is not an accident. Like someone's taking the piss with this. What is that sound? I'm in love with my sister. (laughs) (laughs) They grew up to be Targaryens. Do an incest song. (laughs) In Mormonism, every song is an incest song. Incest is the subtext and the the text, the the official text. Adam and Eve, baby. Oh, I do love the ballet though. Those girls are good. I feel like I, my heart, I, my heart, I'm a ballerina, but I'm not, and it's one of the things I'm like. Ugh. Me too, Samantha. Me too. Yeah. That's my move. <laughs> you That's do. Like you do a lot drunk. of these. I yeah. Know. <laughs> so my friends are ballerinas. <laughs> you are a big drunk dancer, and I would never want you to be anything but. But being like a inspiring. ballet drunk dancer is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the theme of this song? Can someone just tell It's just me? like, I'm going, baby, to Earth. I'm leaving the land I'm of fog fuck and my stars. my sister with a body. <laughs> we know, you're sailing on. <laughs> We're moving on. We're moving on from you, sailing okay? Sailing on. Your solo's gone on long enough. Why do you miss you so much? She's just going to be floating out in the fog by herself? What if the fog monster gets her? They almost kissed. They almost they kissed. They almost kissed. Bare minimum, those actors are 
uh, do in you, the dressing um, room doing things that they're telling the bishop about oh at the end of the God. movie because they don't want to get stripped from the movie. Attention, please. Flight 231 for Los Angeles. Oh, is this real life? I think so. <laughs> oh, Molly, I love you so much. That was me. <laughs> that was me. You were Molly. You were a Molly. You go. You just need to go home. Write in your little journal and put your little sticker on your call to serve <laughs> missionary sticker chart. Is this the girl who swore to unconquerable fortitude and pioneer zeal? Well, why do you think I chose you above all those others? Yes, but two years? She's got a good point. Kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna knock him dead. And all I ask for being the world's greatest missionary is to know that my girl will be waiting for me when I return. In glory. She won't. She's dating a gay guy. <laughs> no, she's dating another guy. <laughs> <laughs> Will you wait for me? Will I, I wait, wait for, for you? you? Already love it. Will I wait for you? Will I wait for you? Will I wait for you? Why, Wally Kessler? Why, Wally you Kessler? You son of a... I've given you the best years of my life. Yeah. I've stood here through it all. 18. <laughs> this would not fly with modern TSA. You try to pull this off, yeah. you're getting tackled. They are the only ones who do the security theater. <laughs> <laughs> I love when the gals have the choreo already ready to go. <laughs> those skirts with those tops. Wow. Don't fire your gay wardrobe <laughs> guy. <laughs> I know. All right, well, she's saying she's waiting for him. We'll see what happens. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Today, we're pleased to have at our studio this year's Riverdale Family the of the Year. Bring the key. Bob and Carol Flinders and their Stand seven music children. And roll music. Is this in real life? Oh, I want that outfit so Is she so in a wheelchair? Bad. I think so. She can't feel the pat on the leg. <gasps> Thigh blocked by God. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone beat me to the punch. Name Jimmy Durante. What? I don't get it. What's happening? They're pretending they have big noses. Why? Um, hard to say for TV to show people that it, that you can have a big ass family and still be very normal. <laughs> <laughs> So this is just a silly little comedy song they're doing as a family. On TV. Okay. In real life. For television. Yep. I for the United I States. I could skip through this. Was that the opening thing for like some show where they're like, look how fucked up America is right now? Yeah. Pretty impressive little number on TV last night, Jim. <laughs> little number? Where there are 10 or 20 in your family. It's just a publicity stunt. We do it with mirrors. You do it with mirrors? Right? Well, we did read an article from this time that said mirrors in the bedroom was... <laughs> was bad, I'm right? I'm confused. There are I undertones. Mean, also, everyone's outfits in the hockey I, uh, people gang is great. There are some important decisions coming up in your life. So what's it gonna be? A nice set of wheels or 47 kids? The two genders? <laughs> the two genders. You're either wheeling or you're dealing infants. <laughs> 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 dealing infants. On the black market, you've had way too many. Don't know what to do with them. Our diapers, what a bore. A big house on the hill. The cool gangs are diverse too. This is the first person mm -hmm. of color we've uh -huh. seen in this in whole, whole movie. movie. Of course, on the b An easy bad. <laughs> Dressed like a pirate. <laughs> a couple says, well, just this one can't hurt. But they can't stop at just one. This is definitely how teenagers talk about big families. <laughs> <laughs> are they parked at, in front of a sign that says no parking just to emphasize how truly degenerate they are? <laughs> They do not uphold any of society's values. Not even parking. I also feel like it's maybe a little bit of a tell that maybe Mormon families at this time in the 80s are starting to reckon with, like, we do have enormous families, and it is a ton of work. And you, again, you have to find a sense of superiority that tells you it's worth it to keep having big families because it's mm -hmm. superior to have big families. So this is just part of their, like, I guess, like, shadow side coming through of... of how they think some non-Mormon teens would like make fun of it. Mm -hmm. But it's just... Oh. Kids, they're a life sentence. So be smart, don't start. Yeah, I love these kids. <laughs> they got their heads screwed on. As citizens of planet Earth, have a solemn obligation to preserve our natural resources. Like 
the ozone. Like portions. <laughs> By limiting our numbers. Eco-fascist hymn. <laughs> the song it's is a, a eugenics anthem. It literally is. Are it's called joking? Zero Population is the oh. Answer, My Friend. Love it. I'm making this my ringtone. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is me going into my vasectomy. We should do a TikTok of that. Yes. This is explaining a bit more of why Mormons are so opposed to like climate change measures or t typically have been. This, this definitely seems like an influential... <laughs> oh, yeah. It is uh, so absurd and, the way, and clownish the way that yeah. the right has taken, you know, they, they assume, okay, we're, God gave us natures to be stewards, which means we can absolutely, utterly abuse it. And when anything is proposed that would make us better stewards of the system, it's like, no, we're going to prove our righteousness by even being worse, by being mm -hmm. intentionally more damaging. We're going to leave our truck running out of spite to own the liberals. I'm poisoning the air I breathe, the spirit I rely on to fill my body with the fires of life. I'm just going to pour smoke and shit into that to own the libs because he's trying to tell me. <laughs> and it all comes back to status because it's like they... <laughs> I knew we'd get back. They have to find a way to justify why, they're, why they don't care about that. And also, like, they're reckoning with the fact that, like, it is true that having nine kids is a lot more resource intensive and, and probably worse for the planet. So just the human tendency to make shitty behavior like morally superior just like for no real reason just for like because no it reason. is because god said so well you know uh from a real like an organismic standpoint the church needs to boost its uh -huh. numbers as quick as uh -huh. possible so it makes sense that it's like an imperative for yes. them to create as many members as they can and outside of that I'm, it's a good thing I didn't see this in high school where I'd have been like, oh no, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> I just think they don't need to do the chorus as many times every single song. Jim, how you doing? Dad, you used to hit me like that in the pre-existence. <laughs> in school, our teacher read us a story about a mommy and a daddy who had to give away one of their kids. And I wondered which one of us you'd pick. How about this stuffed monkey? He looks like he's about ready for recycling anyway. But we don't recycle because we mm. know God hates recycling. In this family, we buy industrial-sized batteries and bury them in the soil. Well, I know which monkey face I'd pick to give away. Ernie. Are you kidding, Alice? This family would shrivel up and die without my... Ernie's too good for this film. That kid is a star. He is incredible. I love him. He, in real life, has already run away to Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go again. Benji, if she gets a letter from Wally, she blubbers. If she writes a letter to Wally, she blubbers. Women, women, women. Ditto. <laughs> Don't ditto. care for him. <laughs> Did you say ditto? Everyone's just like, all right, time to insult women unquestioningly. And the mom's just like, this, yep, yeah, women suck ass big time. No good, those women, we are bad. The male kids have more power in this situation than the mom. <laughs> Higher status. I don't think I could give any of you away. But what if Pop you out. Which one? Is that James wow. Taylor? Please. We love you, Jimmy. We wouldn't give you away. Who cares? The answer's just not having any more. What was that? Oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> He's a bad boy. He's a space case. Mom, I have a question. Where do you give up? And I need a straight answer. Am I gay? Most times you talk, saying you feel empty inside, like someone's missing. Does that mean you're gonna have another baby? This is an interesting insight into Mormon culture. God, he's like, hey, mom, you know how you always say you feel sad and empty inside? Are you gonna try and fill that hole again with another baby? Like you have like, done with all the rest of us? And she's like, mm, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's just, it's all right there. It's right there. Since when is this your decision? Well, I'm part of the human race, aren't I? It's my world, too. Jimmy. Jimmy, what is your problem? Jimmy, ew! What is this, World Consciousness Week? Every week is World Consciousness love, Week when you're conscious, my guy. <laughs> Look, this is our family. You can do what you want with your family. But you can't, because if you do, then that's also bad. Uh, two, 20, Jimmy. 60, Jimmy! This is just not how this would realistically play out at all. Don't cry, Mama. You guys come How often is the mom saying she feels empty inside to her kids? Because I'm a bit worried. <laughs> He's sort of an energy, you can just tell. It's just normal teenage brain damage, or, or have we done something really wrong? Teens are more neuroplastic. 
when he was and also, the mom hasn't been able to say a single line. He totally butted in and didn't let her speak. We find out this is a real family that really did process everything through song. That's beautiful. <laughs> it would be really scary, though, kind of, in a way. Yeah. Not to say that I'm above singing my feelings, <laughs> but it's more for a comedic bit. Oh, Jimmy. Now I'm a bad boy. And an He's going to run away to Hollywood. Just like oh. every other young Mormon antagonist from the 80s. Can they love me for the person I that I am? And they're like, no, God, no. <laughs> this is like the Our Last Summer of Mamma Mia. <laughs> we Walking used to love our son lane. so much, but then he started caring about the ozone, so now we have no choice. Once he became an individual and not just our projections. It wasn't really our family's vibe. And uh, we love. Why would he care about the climate when we loved him? <laughs> if I didn't know I was a child of God, I'd feel very lost in this universe. You don't know. <laughs> For a second, then you get your bearings. You don't really believe it, do you? Believe what? That they shouldn't have any more kids. Well, sure, they've got their fair share, don't they? Why don't they spend their time improving their quality of life or something. Spending time with their children that they already have, maybe? Because bringing a new child into a family, like every, I mean, some people do it like every like year or two, right? Mm -hmm. That would kind of always be such a central focus because like having a newborn is a huge deal. Mm -hmm. And th But then having to like have a newborn and then divide your time between like nine other kids, I just cannot even imagine. Mm -mm. There is like no parent like capable of like doing that in a way that... Nine kids? Yeah. Oh, people just... do it. No, I know, but I'm Homesteaders. just... Homesteaders. I'm not doubting that like everything exists, but I just think in no, general, yeah, it's... it's like... It's like unreasonable to expect just two adults between them to be able to provide for nine children's like needs. <clears throat> yeah, and you know, it even, like... like semi-decently emotionally and even if it was at some point you know when at times when like statistically you know three quarters of your children are dying at birth or soon thereafter yeah maybe it makes sense to be popping out a lot sure. of kids and like it and even a natural impulse mm -hmm. but like we really do live in an age where like that isn't so much of an issue and so like this is just showing a behindness of the times and mm -hmm. really a total lack of vision because it's easy to see, yeah, okay, like our population has gone from here where we were like, breed, 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 to like, Whoa! Freedom to explore new things without being put down all the time. Just plain ordinary freedom to pursue my own goals and find out a few things for myself. He's making some very He's a man, so points. I don't really see the issue, yeah. Jimmy. Jimothy. You and your perfect faith. If my faith were so perfect, I might be moving mountains. Ugh. I might even be dancing. No! No, Pam! But as it is, you sit there day after day, never complaining, always cheerful. You can complain, though. You should complain. How can anybody really know? I, I don't mean just that. I mean anything spiritual. You ever heard of epistemology, <laughs> Pam? <laughs> just doesn't work that way for me. Until he does an acid trip his freshman year of college. Oh I think I it's feel like a song coming on. Oh, this song slaps. Line really? upon line, Capri Sun, Capri Sun. We don't have to watch all of it. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he touched the leg. Did he? Yep. Why do you always do that? Why do you always do know. that? I don't know. It's like a big hot one today. Boys are so insensitive, aren't they, Julie? Well, I She's great. Understand. Wouldn't he? Well, I did pledge my heart to him, didn't I? You but that did. mean I have to put myself in cold storage for two years. It doesn't. Friends are like eggs and roses, you know. Y'all are my eggs and roses. And when the boy you love is gone, a friend can comfort you. He <laughs> with his penis. <laughs> I was like, what can, joke can I make that will piss off Samantha? <laughs> Friends with benefits. All right. The message of this one is it doesn't count if it's anal. And she's going for it. Haven't we worked our tails off? Oh, and what do we have to show for it? A blossoming relationship? A friendship that'll last for the eternities? Oh, and how can I go on without the girl I love? Gay. <laughs> Look at that scoop on that neck. You're gonna get out there and show that two-timing wench. 
I don't even yeah. know. Yeah. Went that low. Went. A girl using her agency? Furthermore, prostitute. Have you ever wondered where this beautiful child came from? Yeah, the mailman. <laughs> Is one moment too much to ask for the world's greatest message? He looks like he's on drugs. You look like a man who's looking for truth. I'm actually looking for illusions. <laughs> you seen Maya anywhere? <laughs> hey, kid. Wow. That's super illegal. <laughs> Get out of here. Everything's working against us. The kids are conspiring against us. You can't just pick a kid off the street and convert him into Mormonism anymore. There are people out there, Elder. We don't know it yet, but they're waiting for us. Don Knott should have played this role. Even if it means tearing down every last brick in this city, one at a time. Jesus. We're servants of the Lord. What a fascist kind of ethos there. A lot of fascist energy in this. <laughs> I mean, that's what ties are for. I'm telling you, there's something symbolic about it. <laughs> Sinister. Oh, who's this? Oh, who's just your local bisexual. <laughs> Looking at a screenplay in the park. So he just overheard that and has been converted. But who am I? Who is he? He's just... A young, handsome guy wondering what life's really all about. Where did I come from? Who am I? Where am I going? Who did I promise to do weird stuff with in the pre-mortal existence? I would like to know. I don't know if looking for a cause you would die for should really be a goal. Who's tall and straight, best of all he's free. I'm telling you, as someone who's gone through the queer Mormon journey, this whole thing is just... <laughs> not like caught wind of what he's talking about. I feel like I'm just making guesses. Until Peter came along, I didn't know the meaning of love. I sure wish Julie would let me read some of those romantic things she keeps writing in her diary. Why would you want to read your sister's erotica? <laughs> Romantica. <laughs> no, it's up to me. Oh my god, chicken nuggets. Oh my god, the guy who was sitting on the bench is reaching for the girl who was reaching for Peter which means she's not gonna get with Peter, the guy who she knows is her betrothed. Wait, are you sure? Yeah, oh, there was some serious foreshadowing. You were right, there's gotta be the gay guy, and now the next guy. He's the next oh, guy. Oh, okay. So <laughs> You're a selfish jerk, just like everybody says. Well, you worry about what everyone else is saying, because I got better things to do. Definitely someone taking out their childhood trauma on the script. Like taking care of yourself. Benji, leave it alone. You think I'm afraid of you? Someone who doesn't have the guts to do what he knows is right! Stop it! This isn't what a family's for! He just for. fell yes, over for no reason. You guys don't even believe in science! <laughs> I hate you! We're heading out. Jimmy Stay is getting a, approached by hot women. I don't know. We're gonna have a hell of a time, James. We're gonna do polyamorous things, <laughs> James. Where are they going? Bisexual polyamory, James. It's the future, James. <laughs> Doesn't create kids, James. <laughs> this is the summer of fair weather. This was totally us in LA. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's hot girl summer. <laughs> The fact that the cool kids want him this badly, I'm like, unlikely. They, they are kind of implying a bit of bisexuality, I swear. Surprise! Surprise, we've decided to still love you, despite mm. your climate wickedness. <laughs> You're welcome. Literally just have a conversation with your child. Don't uh -huh. like do another big family Don't thing that's like impersonal, thing. you know? Look, whatever it is you're trying to do, it's not gonna work. Jimmy. You think this is some kind of show or pretense? Yes. These brothers and sisters of yours have been working on this party for three weeks. What about this took three weeks? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even see decoration. <laughs> Just say three days. Even then, I'm not seeing no evidence for it. Happy birthday, Jimmy. He's the best friend I ever had. She's giving him my best friend. She's a little socialist and blooming, you can mm -hmm. tell by the hat. You know the old 59 that's been dead for three months? I fixed the clutch. I even wore this outfit to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> really drive it home. <laughs> Jimmy, will you please kneel before me? Why are the twins always kneeling before each other? <laughs> A crown. Oh, no. Yeah. On this, the 25th day of May. Oh, he's a Gemini, too. A Gemini, <laughs> if you will. And now arise, brave warrior. The world is yours. It's kind of fuck up to stage that whole thing and then it ends with being like, and if you don't accept doubling down in the religion that you're doubting, then this is what you're missing out on us as a family. It's uh, very... No wonder he's feeling like it's a put on, dad. Mm -hmm. This is what he was afraid of. <laughs> but now he's just going with it for some reason. Surely you don't expect the queen to go to the music hall escorted by anyone less than a knight in shining armor. 
Especially to see Camelot. It's the amount that like fairy tale gender roles are woven into Mormonism is so exhausting. Of them being a married couple, a royal married couple. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I mean, the twins, I've just, they've got a pass at yeah. this point. I'm like, the twins are in love, but it doesn't make any sense. You and mom haven't given Jimmy your present. The little Janis Joplin of the family. <laughs> she is not going to make it through. <laughs> they, them are not going to make it through. <laughs> We're going to have a baby. It's gonna fix the hole in my heart, Jimmy. <laughs> well, maybe next time he'll just drop a whole litter. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> Jimmy, no! Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! Mom, are you okay? No! Oh my god, no! What? What the? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh oh. You wanna go? Oh so my so fucking cool. god. She had a miscarriage? Is that. Jimmy, so. why didn't you keep your promise? <gasps> ah! Jimmy! This is so disturbing. Because he wants to just be like a normal teenager doing things that other teenagers are doing. <laughs> Not having kids. <laughs> also, kind of feel like the dad Learning synchronized him. dances and cool outfits. Well, I feel like the dad is the one... I mean, the dad hit him. The That's dad the, hit clearly him. the biggest crime here. And then the mum ran into miscarriage, I yeah. guess. Uh, but Jimmy's getting brain like damaged blamed. teenager yeah. acting erratically. It's like isn't resorting to physical violence. Right. Like <sighs> sorry, he. I think it's pretty common for kids in large families to be like, we don't have it. We can't add another. You know. <laughs> I feel like there's times kids pick up on that when adults don't. Sometimes of like we do not have the bandwidth as a family to add another person. Are they in line at brunch? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It really is gonna rain. I knew it. We're being punished for our sins. <laughs> this is us in LA. <laughs> that is literally us. Uh, hey, look, I think I'll stick around here for a while. That's like an exact outfit I wore. Uh. <laughs> is that the same area the missionaries are in? I'm writing to you from the hospital. <gasps> Just the same old thing. This is such a guilt trip. Holy shit, yeah, using like the disabled sister as a way to... And the sister who couldn't even be born because he didn't <clears throat> keep his promise. Freedom is knowing who you are. I want you to know that the rest can straighten out itself if you really know who you are. And the way to know who you are is to just <laughs> accept the story that you've been given by the people you've been yes. born into. That works for everyone across the entire globe. If everyone just applies that, it'll be perfect for everyone. I pray for the day that you will know that you are a child of God with endless potential. Just don't seek the potential. <laughs> Stay here. Stay small. Oh, excuse me. Could you hold it there for just a second? Uh, smoking even? You're not drawing a picture of me, are you? As a matter of fact, you're almost done. How long is this gonna take? I've got a friend waiting. I'm almost finished. Status games. <laughs> you're a long way from home, are you? Oh. <laughs> to you. Imagine being I'm so hostile about up. someone you're drawing Take in public. Number. Leaving that place was the best thing I ever did. You were like a number around there. It was like uh, kid processing. You ever seen the movie The Wall? You sound like you're trying to convince yourself. <laughs> 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 he's like the Craig from Stephanie, totally. our Patreon series, who has had one small brush with Mormonism and is getting all judgy about mm -hmm. other Mormons. It's like, you just got here. I used to envy kids with big families, especially big brothers. That's what every guy needs is a big brother. Totally. What about the big brothers? Who's their big brother? Hey, hey, don't you want to see the masterpiece? It's finished. Hey, wait a minute, this isn't me. Sorry, it's back to art school for you, pal. This is the worst type of person to run into at a party in public yeah. or anywhere else. Of course he's got, he gets a god delusion. Just like so narcissistic, frankly. Just like assumes that everybody else needs to like, like is there to do what they want to do. And like, yeah, no, you stay there. I'm drawing you. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I'm going to mm -hmm. criticize you for your man. It sounds mm -hmm. like you're just this. Like, oh my god, leave me the fuck alone. You don't know shit. Oh, that guy did say his painting was bad, which was a huge diss. Yeah. And so that means that that guy's gonna have to try to regain his status. So a status war is about to go down We're because that guy's <laughs> challenged his authority. The two male primates square mm. off exactly. in a game of stasis. I'm not a typical artist. You see, I got this thing. I don't draw people the way they are. I try to draw them the way they could be. If it's you just... didn't suck, this would be you. If you weren't if shit. You were hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, these eyes, for example. Oh, fuck off. Oh, if they had light in them. <laughs> Typical artist, and then that's the picture. It took me like two hours to do the shading on your upper lip, Sorry, uh, on your lower chin. 
that guy's so handsome. Like he's he's more handsome in real life than in that photo. Yeah, don't quit your day job. I don't want to discourage to anyone from the arts, but that guy knows where he's going, wouldn't you say? And that jaw, firm, strong, determined. I mean, that's also yes. feeling a little bit like eugenics -y and like oh, associating, totally. assigning moral character to having a strong jaw. Totally. It's like phrenology or whatever. We're like, the, the shape of your skull indicates whether you have sociopathic tendencies. Yeah, you're right. That's not you. Not yet anyway. But it could be. It's the drugs, isn't it? Here, let me show another one. Damn hippie. Oh, this guy's so annoying. Recognize him? <laughs> That was just a slightly worse version of the other one. You're a pretty good artist. No, he's not! No, he's not. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm way worse than him, so like, that be upfront, but like, I feel like 10 year olds <laughs> could do that. Let me tell you, anybody who spends that much time admiring the intricacies of the male form yep. ends up a little quirky. <laughs> well, what makes you think I don't know where I'm going? Well, do you? As a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Mm -hmm. What's happening? This guy was just Who singing a whole ass song about how oh, he's he lost. Know where he's and going. someday he'll be like that hot man in the suit who knows what's going on. Projection. It's and now projection. he's like lecturing this dude who's objectively hotter than him. We've all done it. We, and then we've, all, <laughs> we've all gone on our little journeys. <laughs> to experience the world, to try everything there is, to learn the meaning of freedom. A waste. Freedom Not sucks. Having your head screwed on straight isn't what I'd call freedom. What did he do? He just probably berated some sorority girls at a party and they were like, you suck. And he's like, wow, freedom is nothing. Feminism is broke. Also, what <laughs> has he even seen this other kid do that makes him think he's such a... Like, he's like dressed really cleanly. <laughs> yeah. He was just like reading a letter from his sister. He's clearly sober. <laughs> never had a drink in his... I just am like, what's happening? The light is visibly absent from his eyes. He looks like he's... You can just kind of tell by his aura that he's one step away from serial killing. But this guy's not even Mormon. I know. <laughs> Rando, who's Just... like for some reason a messenger for the Mormon Christ all of a sudden. Oh, he's spooky. Every time I look at this guy, I think it's the real me. The me that's just waiting to be discovered if I can just find him. Literally just has a crush on that missionary. That is all that is happening. Oh yeah, he's literally one step away from reading The Man Inside Me by Dr. Tobias <laughs> Filmke. For there's a man inside me, and only when he's finally out can I walk free of pain. I keep thinking maybe God's the answer, but where do you find God in a place like this? Where? Are we on Earth? If only I knew a Mormon in or something. In a suburban U.S. place in the 80s. Where? Where is this place? There's something else you know, isn't there? Oh, <laughs> fuck off! Wet dream. Mormon wet dream. You're talking to the wrong guy. You're talking to the wrong guy. Fuck. Oh, this is so I quit the I quit the God cops a long time ago. Just the idea of the fact that he was raised Mormon would be like coming through somehow. <laughs> like there's something that you know. Or was he like living on the beach? Like, no, that'd surfing. be crazy. They're probably just renting a beach house. He doesn't even look like he's beach ready. They're not even having that fun of a time. How much fun can you have really with a tucked shorts. in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ready for a round of golf. Oh, not the harbinger oh, rain yeah. that always follows. No. <gasps> Not the sister being dead. Oh, she's Don't dead tell me the sister she's dies. She's dead as shit. I will lose my mind. She's a goner. This whole thing is set up to like, oh, it's devastated. You weren't there. But like, this is, you would grieve like this for your sister dying no yeah. matter what. Yeah. Right? Like you're at an appropriate age to have left home. Yeah. Like you didn't, you didn't do anything to, just because she was Mormon and you weren't, you didn't like wrong her. Like, so far you expressed an opinion, a stupidly written one for sure, but um, then your dad physically abused you, like hit yeah. you in the face. Yeah. And you left, you know, it seems like Which you're... Which is an appropriate thing to do after getting physically assaulted by your dad. And now it's your fault your sister died, you piece of shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're going to not be truly mourning because we know where we're going. <laughs> oh, we know where we're going. God, we're the implication that if someone you love dies... And you're not, you're anything but hyper Mormon at that time that it's like, you should feel a bit weirdly guilty about it. Mm -hmm. It's just because it's like, he's good. That's his twin. He's going to grieve like his whole life for that. Yeah. But was, but it's like, there's not like full empathy. Cause it's like, you kind of brought this on yourself. Right. Why didn't Jimmy keep his promise? I don't know all the reasons, Emily. I know it has something to do with free agency. 
See, so if that's happening all the time, if free agency is always messing things up, then none of the like most of the contracts that people are making aren't mm-hmm. going to play out. Mm-hmm. So why? Oh, it's mm-hmm. so dumb. It's so dumb. Also, you shouldn't be punished because like people on Earth are not choosing to have kids. I know. As like a child in heaven who's like supposed to be all alone. Who's this? Wait, that's. This is Jimmy. This is Jimmy. Oh. I love that he's immediately processing his grief <laughs> through song. Yeah, glad that's over. What was the last line? Who cares? <laughs> Come on, Jim, let's go. His sister Hot squad, just died. Now. <laughs> his sister just died. Jimmy, please. We haven't even seen them do anything wrong except for park in the no parking lane. And they wear like jazzercise adjacent clothing, which I don't know what it means, but it means something. <laughs> Musical theater is so gay. <laughs> it's such a funny way to make a straight point. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like how could your uh, age appropriate friends really be your friends if what, they're not Mormon? It doesn't seem like any of them come from Mormon background. They're all driving in one car, presumably without seatbelts. So yeah, they are a little reckless. I will knock the points for the that. time. Yeah, isn't there someone who'll take me as I am? This is just like Stephanie. This is the only thing they know how to do. Being like, leaving is so bad. If you do it, you're gonna fuck up the whole thing. Oh God, a funeral scene? Don't. This is macabre. The turf. <laughs> <laughs> the 80s. <laughs> the original turf. <laughs> Free JK. Oh, did he make it back in time for the funeral? <gasps> he made it. His sister died. He's not like some monster. He just doesn't want to be Mormon and you guys are all hitting him and rejecting him. You're giving C so guilt. He just winked. Are we going to get a sorry from the dad or is Jimmy the only one who gets the guilt trip for being hit in the face? Amen. <laughs> Seriously. Well, they won't feel the need to cover that. Every time we've come to this park, he's been sitting on that bench drawing. Well, yeah, I almost introduced myself once, but then I thought... Nah, he's not the type. Well, you're his type, so you should go for it. <laughs> Here's some men who, who know who they are, who haven't been uh, disillusioned by freedom. He's so easily conversed with they're just going straight to montage. They're not even doing like, oh, yeah, a line yeah, that hooks it's, yeah, in. It's no. just, like, we knew oh he was God. a shoe-in from the beginning. Oh my God, this pamphlet. Yeah, yeah. Three separate beings? Fuck. He's like, and I'm already so good at guilting people. He's like, this guy's a kind of radical. He's, we got a smile. He's like, what? Are we about to have a, we... our best summer ever? <laughs> He's like, you want to get in a pool? And they're like, you wouldn't believe what's coming for you. A baptismal font. Practicing baptism right away, huh? Oh, yeah. He's loving it. <laughs> He's, loving, He's it. loving it. He's loving it. Oh, yes. Is anyone else kind of hard? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna so start jumping. <laughs> That's not even subtle. <gasps> Julie's engaged. Uh, well, she hasn't met Bert Bozo yet. What do you mean? She's gonna fall for the park guy, the park convert. But he's in a throuple with those missionaries. <laughs> that won't stop them yet. Oh not at this God. phase. The wedding is in three days. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> we started planning three days before that. <laughs> Six <laughs> days. It's not just doubts. Not it's just so doubts. Doubt your doubts. Understand. You're getting married. <laughs> Please try and understand without me even saying. The other kid got punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> it all fits together now. I lived before I came here. You're not getting that from the Book of Mormon. Shut up. This actor probably has a Mormon Stories episode. Are they just like singing to each other like, this is like the end sinks, I knew I loved you before I knew you. This is yes, like that. Yes, exactly like that. All the rusty chains are tied around me with these two men. Oh my God, is this her missionary coming home? Yeah, gotta be. <clears throat> but she's gonna meet the other guy who's in the throuple with them. Oh, what am I doing? What chance is there that he could possibly care for me now? None. <laughs> you are licked gum or whatever, chewed gum. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I was released last week, but I wouldn't miss this for anything. Why'd you go home a week earlier than everybody else? You fuck up? Well, he has some big surprise. <laughs> he came out. <laughs> <laughs> or he, like, met a go on the bench. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out in a couple of minutes. Boy. I sure see why Wally had such a hard time getting over you. Calm down, you got home one week ago. Just arriving now through gate seven, returning in great humility and glory from a triumphant soul-saving mission. That's how it really be in the Salt Lake Airport. Family's got their crock pots hooked up. <laughs> so t- <laughs> Ash literally saw that at the airport. That's fucking genius. Um, so this guy's actually kind of a bit shit, right? Cause he, I mean, he's a narcissist for sure. He just had them make that announcement. 
yeah. at the airport about him. Maybe you know, maybe a joke. Maybe all in good humor. Mm, I think that she should go with the park bench she guy. Will, she will, and for then he sure. can draw her like one of his French girls. She'll be a, a good person to bounce his uh, sexual journey. You know, like when he comes out to her, yeah. she'll be she'll be gentle. He'll come out as bisexual in like four years, doing mm-hmm. women's stories. Two yeah. years later, they get divorced. Yeah. Kessler. Huh? I think you missed someone. Oh, Julie! Oh, but I didn't expect! I'm just keeping my promise, Wally! Remember? Oh, Julie. Oh, Elder. Oh, I can't believe this! Oh, I thought that dear John was the end. Oh, and all the heartaches. Remember, Elder? Oh, it's all been worth it. <laughs> really? I know him from somewhere. Oh, but that's impossible. He's my surprise! He's my surprise. <laughs> oh, you are all in for so many surprises. Baptism. This is my baptism. <laughs> oh, Julie, no, you, can, you can't do this. Not with my right baptism, that. Julie, not my baptism. <laughs> my baptism, Julie, no, no, Julie. I want an early no. baptism <laughs> on an American mission. Get it, Kessler, she's history. <laughs> Move on, dude. <laughs> Let's get back to the good times we had on the mission, but this time, no rules. We can find another one of him, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Oh, that was easy. <laughs> this is all so silly because they have all these promises, but then still they have no idea what's going to happen and they know that everything's just going to be up for a pot anyway. Like Magical thinking about who you pick as a spouse and then have as many kids as possible. <laughs> what could go wrong? A perfect plan where it's all planned out to the precise detail in advance, but anything could go wrong at any time. It was one of the very best, but it's still a risky proposition. She's making decisions. Is she, that Heavenly Mother? Is that Heavenly Mother? That's it's, Heavenly Mother. No, it's, Is that Heavenly Mother? <laughs> <laughs> it's our. It's a stormy place down there, and it's a stormy Saturday night. Be courageous and remember who you are. Well, she literally won't be able to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mom's no, prego again. In fact, mummy. It's coming. Oh There's a spirit in me now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Awesome. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Mom, we gotta go to the hospital. What? Right now. Wh- why? Why? <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm going anywhere. Oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Home birth. Mom's We're doing it. Baby. Let's roll. Do you think she dies at childbirth? That would be kind of a twist. No. <laughs> I don't think they'll do another death. No, no. Let's go! Let's go! go. <laughs> that was a good fall. That kid's a good actor. Gonna do it right there on the non-covered couch. <laughs> Just going for it. Oh, oof. She's doing it so modestly, which I really applaud. You did this to me! You did this to me. A classic line. I know. <laughs> like, that was funny once when one person said it. Whoa. Who is this child who came down? Where did it come from? We have no idea. Our top scientists are working on it. Who's cutting the placenta? Who's cooking it? <laughs> In a power outage, that is impressive. Are you inspired? This just... had the 80s Mormon church in a chokehold. Mm-hmm. I just think it's kind of weird, like, seeing an innocent newborn baby and then being like, that baby's entire life is going to be defined by fear of their own sexuality to an enormous degree. And it's like imposed on them before they're even old enough to be sexual. And I just think it's all just so whack. And uh, uh, the imposition of certain roles and characteristics that yeah. may be like entirely foreign to their yeah. nature or desire. Yep. Jimmy did nothing wrong. Was he? I mean, like, obviously that's not yeah. how we would talk about like the issues with like... But I'm like, you're a, tr- you're a kid, and a- yeah. I feel like you get a free pass, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, if he's not talking to you better, then there's a reason it's your job as his parents to figure out like, yeah, what yeah. his needs are, that, you know. Big Jesus in the manger energy. Oh, that's a tiny baby. Who's that? It's Jimmy with the sword. Oh, is he- so he's just Mormon again? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was the hardest battle that could happen oh. in the last days, mounting evil. It wasn't slavery. It wasn't forcible castration. It was. I can't believe the climb. The end of the movie is just another baby being born. That's it. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Is just keep having babies. Don't hang out with people from LA. So the sister dying really served no purpose other than to kind guilt. of guilt. Yeah, yeah, guilt him back into the family, and the vague implication that he was kind of to blame. You wouldn't sin because of the implications. Whoa! I wasn't ready for it to be over that quick. It just felt so. 
There's Shoddy. so much. There's so much stuff, and then, the, but then nothing at the at the same time in the end. Oh, day of God's time is a thousand years of our time. So, the Saturday is going to go on for a while. Y'all can relax. Jesus isn't coming anytime <laughs> soon, apparently. Yeah, that's it. Just like that, it's over. Well, what did you learn? How was your experience? Saturday's warrior. You better for it. You know, I I like musical theatre, and even though that was. Uh, you know, bad musical theatre, I still enjoyed some aspects oh, of it. yes, yes, of course. Yeah, what, what, what's your uh, takeaway here? Honestly, just too bad. It's just too bad. Any theatre is a reflection of culture and the shallowness. It's just really, really sad. Yeah, because even though musical theatre is often like, uh, you know, less multidimensional because of the nature of the format, I still think, <laughs> I still think, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, I hope those twins get together in the afterlife. <laughs> well, we're everyone's siblings always. This has been great. Join us on Patreon to come read Stephanie with us. When I was in like college, I was like trying to figure all this stuff out and I was like, it's probably more like, God, the Elohim is like a group of polyamorous friends that are like colonize <laughs> the earth together and like we're all their kids because the math doesn't work out. <laughs> Yeah, join us on Stephanie on Patreon. Love you. So glad this is over. Bye. Thank you, guys. Now it's so good.